India stands at the cutting edge of aerospace innovation, firmly committed to bolstering its defense capabilities. The Tejas Mark 1A, a notable success, has garnered attention for its capability to carry various weapons and integrate advanced avionics. However, a significant challenge remains with the engine. Currently, India relies on foreign nations for the engines that power its fighter jets. To address this dependence, the Indian government has secured an agreement with GE engine makers for a supply of engines. Yet, supply chain issues have caused delays in engine deliveries, posing a significant obstacle to the Tejas Mark 1A production schedule. In response to these delays, HAL is exploring alternative options to ensure the continued advancement of its fighter jet program. One such alternative is the European Eurojet engine, known for its performance in the Rafale fighter jet. The Eurojet offers a promising solution and could potentially become a key component in India's defense strategy. In the early 2010s, the Indian Air Force was at a crucial crossroads in its quest for an advanced multi-role fighter jet. At this stage, the development of the Tejas MK2 was gathering momentum, and strategic decisions were being made to shape its future. The IAF had initially set its sights on the Eurojet EJ200 engine, a powerhouse behind the European Eurofighter Typhoon. This choice was driven by a desire to diversify their engine suppliers aiming to reduce dependency on any single foreign entity and enhance operational flexibility. However, the Aeronautical Development Agency took a different path, opting for a more cost-effective solution. They selected the GEF 414IN6 engine. For the Tages MK2, this decision was pivotal, balancing performance with affordability. India's HAL Tages MK1 and MK1A light combat aircraft currently use General Electric 404 engines. Delivery delays from GE sparked discussions about alternatives like the Safran M88-3 engines used in Dassault's Rafale jets. However, replacing the GE-404 with the M88-3 faces several challenges. The GE-404 engine is known for reliability and performance, producing 84 kN of thrust with afterburner, compared to the M88-375 kN. The dimensions also differ, requiring significant internal changes to the fuselage for an engine swap. Safran M88-3 engines are optimized for the Rafale program, and scaling production to meet Indian needs requires significant adjustments and investments. Transitioning engines would also involve establishing new supply chains and logistical frameworks, including sourcing components and training personnel. Any new engine integration would need rigorous certification and testing, extending timelines and increasing costs. Engine selection also considers geopolitical and economic factors, strategic partnerships, and domestic industrial benefits. While the Safran M88-3 engine offers competitive performance, transitioning is complicated. The GE404 higher thrust, existing integration in the Tages program, and established supply chain make it the more practical choice currently. Safran's production capabilities would need significant adaptation to meet India's needs. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section.